there and welcome to another video by the MXQ project. So, Baobs150, who is a developer over on FreeTab, has released his latest version of Ambient for the MXQ SFR TV box. So this version brings a lot of stability improvements. So improvements with the kernel has made the system so much smoother, faster and overall much better experience for you guys. So, what you're going to need is, you're going to need a SD card, so one of these, full size one, and you are going to need a MXQ SL5. Now make sure your SD card is pretty quick, I recommend a Sandisk Ultra card because you've got to remember we're running this operating system from the SD card, so a slow one is just going to make the operating system run slow as well. So let's move on to the first part, where I'll show you how to install it onto the SD card. So let's go and download our Ambient image. So I'll leave the links in the description. So this is a Yan disk and this has been uploaded by Bob. So you've got DB and Jesse available, which is in the form of the server. You've also got Ubuntu Xenial, and that's in what's with the desktop Ubuntu Mate. You've got the server version as well as that, and as well you can get XFCE, which is a quite a nice desktop as well. So what you need to do is you need to download one of them, choose which one you want, choose which one you want to try. The one I am using at the moment is um, Ubuntu Xenial Mate desktop, and it's quite nice. And I'll also leave the links to all the um, forums where you can find bulbs, so over on FreeTab or the Ambient forum if you want to go and have a chat with him. So once you've got your Ambient image, which one you want to choose, uh, you need to also you need to download Win32 Disk Imager as well. Now again, I'll leave the links in the description. It's just a very small executable program. So get yourself your ambient image on your desktop, and then what you need to do is you need to extract it because it's an XZ file, I think it was. So you just need to unzip it, and then you'll be left with an image file. So load up Win32 Disk Image. Now I've loaded mine up and it's not seen the SD card, so pop in your SD card now and what will happen is it will load up, so there it goes, it says, it says device H, so that's my SD card inserted into the computer and then click the little folder button next to it and then go and select the image file that you've just unzipped, so I'm being 5.27 so select that and then click right And then click yes to confirm. So that is it almost completed. Now that's it burned. There's a few more steps we need to do to actually get it to work before we take it out and insert it into our MXQ box. So select open up the SD card and you shall see a whole load of files. So these are all the files that make up the operating system. And we need to go down to DTB-3.10.33. So this is where we've got all our files called DTB files. So DTB files are unique to our hardware and you might end up having to try all these. But the one I know that works for me is this one just here. So Meeson 8B underscore um, M200 underscore 1G dot DTB. So I want to copy this one. So I'm going to right and click and copy. And then I'm going to move over to the previous folder where we saw all those other files. So what we need to do now is we need to rename that DTB file. So we need to rename it to DTB.image. That's all we need to do. So we go DTB.image. And then once you've done that, that's that finished with that part. Then we can move over onto the Ambient First Run file, which is just here. Now you can follow this through and you can change a few settings if you want to. It's totally optional. It just helps you get up and running with certain things. I'll let you to have a read through this little file. Change things if you want to. The full instructions are in this file. And once you've done that, you can take out your SD card and then you can pop it into your MXQ box. And now I want to move on to the next part. So hopefully it started running the script. Now what you need to do is you need to type in the new login. So the default login for this is root. And then the password is 1234. 
And then what it'll ask you is again, it'll ask you for the password, which is 1234. Enter a new password, so make something up. And then retype that password again. Leave it a few seconds while it initiates the first boot. Now what it wants you to do is provide a username. So I type Matt. Again, leave it a few seconds. We're nearly finished now. And then type in your new Unix password, so the password that you created before. Type it again. And then type in a few information, such as your name. You don't have to do this. It's totally optional. And then type yeah, just Y for yes at the end. And that is it, it's totally complete. Now, if you fail to boot and you fail to get this far, then you need to change those DTB files again. You need to try a different one. Now, unfortunately, there's no real way for me to uh, f figure out which DTB file is gonna work for you. It's just a case of trying them all and seeing which works. And yes, it might take you a while, but unfortunately that's just the way it is, guys. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this and um, hopefully you've got running up with Ubuntu on your MXQ box. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like. If you disliked it, give me a dislike. And we shall see you on the next video.